for you. Hi, this is me, Atao Rehman. Yes, with grade 12 mathematics. Unit first, functions and limits. Here, in the previous lecture, we learned about the Cartesian product. That is, Cartesian product is a set consisting of the order pairs. The, the order pairs are formed that the first element belongs to the first set and the second belongs to the second set. The number of ways to find elements in the Cartesian product, that is, by using the formula, that the number of elements in A cross B is equal to the number of elements in A multiplied by the number of elements in B. Then, we come to the binary relation as being the subset of the Cartesian product. And we also learn about the number of binary relations in two different sets and in one set by using the formula 2 to the power k1 multiplied by k2 and 2 to the power k square respectively. Then we learn about the independent and dependent variables. Let us know little more about the variable and dependency and dependency. Real world problems. A boat has to travel 105 miles downstream. Based on how quickly it travels, how long will it take the boat to arrive? To solve this problem, first identify the variables. The dependent variable is the value we are solving for. In this problem, our dependent variable is how long it will take the boat to travel the distance. The letter Y represents the dependent variable. To find the independent variable, look for the value that affects the dependent variable. Since the speed of the boat affects how long it takes to travel, speed is our independent variable. The letter X represents this variable. Any other relevant numbers are considered constants because they do not change. In this problem, the distance traveled is the constant. Next, use the variables to write an equation. Multiply the boat's speed by the number of hours the boat will travel to find the total distance, or 105 miles. So the equation is speed, or x, times time, or y, equals 105. To find the possible solutions, first rewrite the equation. Next, set up the equation so y is on one side and x is on the other. Then, draw a table to record results. Let's find out how long it will take the boat to go 105 miles if it travels at three different speeds, 15, 20, and 30 miles per hour. Using the equation, we'll solve for three different values of y. Plugging in the three speeds, we see that it could take the boat seven, five and a quarter, or three and a half hours to travel the distance. Notice that whenever you change the independent variable, x, the dependent variable, y, is affected. Now, how to represent a binary relation? As we know that any set of order pairs of numbers is called a relation. So, binary relation can be represented by tabular form, by an equation, by an equation, and by graph. So let us discuss these four step by step. Number first, by tabular form. As we have learned in the previous lecture that if we have any two sets, then we can easily form your Cartesian product and we can take from that Cartesian product the binary relation. So here we have two sets A and B containing some elements 
the order of A is 3 while the order of B is 2. So, some relations from A to B are given by these are the binary relations from A to B. You can see that these relations are tabulated in a set. So that's why it is called binary relation in tabular form. Next is to represent binary relation by an equation. Let us take this example that r is equal to x comma y such that y is equal to 2 times x square. So if we put any value for x then y is equal to say x is equal to 1 then y is equal to 2 times 1 square and this gives y is equal to 2 and definitely we have an order pair 1 comma 2 by plugging x is equal to 2 we get y is equal to 8 and another order pair form that is 2 comma 8 similarly plugging x is equal to 3 we get y is equal to 18 with order pair 3 comma 18 or plugging x is equal to minus 2 we can get y is equal to 8 8 and the order pair so far is minus 2 comma 8 and so on so the binary relation in this, this case become 1 comma 2 2 comma 2 3 comma 2 comma 8 3 comma 18 and so on so then you see that we have given an equation from this equation we have formed the binary relation so this is how i want to show you that an equation represent a binary relation next by n equation let us take another relation that is f is equal to x comma y such that y is greater or equal to x here we have used the inequality symbol that is greater or equal to so if we want to form the binary relation in the tabular form from this so we can put any value for x that, way, that must be less than or equal to y. So we can easily form the this binary relation as in tabular form as minus 1 comma 9 because minus 1 is less than 9, 0 is less than 1, 1 is less than 2, 5 is less than 5.5, 6 is equal to 6. So this is what and so on and so forth. You can put many values in them. So this is what the representation of a binary relation in the form of an, an equation. By graph, the fourth one is to represent the binary relation with the help of graph. Let us take y is equal to x cube. The, then the input output table for this equation is Okay, so let us draw y is equal to x cube. So let us first try the equation. So this is the graph of the uh, y is equal to x cube. Now we want to show that this graph represents a binary relation. What does a binary relation uh, mean? A binary relation means that two quantities will be related to each other. Here you can see that, say, let me take this, so you can have a clear view of the points. So you see that this here if we put x equal to 0, we get y equal to 0 as shown in the table. Similarly, if we put x equal to 1, the value of y is also 1. You can see there on the graph. Similarly, substituting x equal to 2, then 2, 2 is the 4, 4, 2 is the 8. Then the value of y will be above on the x-axis at 8. 
look here. So one can easily see two comma x. Similarly, if we replace x with minus one, the value of y is also minus one. And if we replace the value of y as minus two, so we reach to minus eight. And similarly, if we replace x with 3 or minus 3, we get 27 and minus 27 respectively. So, what does this show? This show that the graph also represents a binary relation. So, now, from this we have learned that graph also is a binary relation. So, okay dear, see you in the next video with domain and range of the relation. Until that, see you. Bye.